Shalom, hello. Hi, D Dave. Shalom. Well, actually, this is Rabbi Sol Solomon. Shalom to you. I am. Hi. Dave has uh, recruited me to do oh, this. Great. So shalom to you. Hello. Shalom. Nice to see you. Where are you? Um, I'm in uh, my shul, my little temple here, basically in a closet in the temple where we're all uh -huh. from each other, which what I like. Part, yes. What part of the world are you in? Oh, um, I live in my own head, essentially. So uh, I'm, okay. I'm everywhere and nowhere all at the same time. Huma, are you the, the Iron Dale Ensemble head uh, macha there? I, I'm, I'm one of the people who founded the company. I'm Terry Grease. Nice to meet you, uh, Rabbi. Nice to meet you too. Oh, I'm requesting recording permission so that I can record this and show this to my followers of whom Absolutely. I- Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you, Terry. Very, very nice to meet you. Um, tell me when I'm ready to go or whatever. Great, uh, What's, what are you gonna choose for? What are you gonna read for us? Oh, it will be a song at number 30. Great. When the session, to the session with Sweet Silent Caught and so So am I on deck or, is, or are people watching you're, this? No, right you're, you're right, you're going live right now. You're here. Wait, come on. Oh, okay, let me begin. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> let me begin. Well, so. Shalom, damn it. This is Rabbi Sal Solomon, founder and spiritual leader of Temple Sons of Bitches in Great Neck, New York. And I am delighted to be taking part in Irondale Ensemble's Sonnet Marathon to honor April 23rd, the day William Shakespeare was born. It's also the day he died, but why be negative? And besides, who needs sanitizer when we can all be sonatized? <laughs> Damn it. I have chosen to read Sonnet number 30 in Roman numerals, that's XXX, in Hebrew, yud, yud, yud. When to the sessions of sweet, silent thought, I summon up remembrance of things past. I sigh, ay, the lack of many a thing I sought, and with old woes, new wail, my dear time's waste. Then can I drown an eye, unused to flow, for precious friends hid in death's dateless night and weep afresh love's long since canceled woe and moan the expense of many a vanished sight. Then can I grieve at grievances foregone and heavily from, shut up, from woe to woe tell o'er the sad account of four bemoaned moan, which I knew paid as if not paid before. But if the while I think on thee, dear friend, all losses are restored and sorrows end. Now, what do we learn from this sonnet? First, it's ideal for Jews. It's depressing, it's about regret, and how tempting it is to rehash miseries over and over. Sorry, o'er and o'er. The Schmendrick in this poem sighs over spilled milk, cries over dead people, grieves of shayap over old pussy, and then complains that he's wasting precious time being unhappy. Freud would have a field day with this putz. But of course, Shakespeare being universal, we are the putz. Even before the pandemic, who among us hasn't wasted decades on worry, fear, disappointment, inertia, and that most Jewish of bugaboos, guilt. The silver lining is when you have someone who brightens your day, a friend, a pet, an anatomically correct inflatable rubber Gal Gadot doll. Even if your loved one is merely a memory it can erase all that sorus of what Rabbi Tom Lehrer once called your drab, wretched lives. And so, my dear friends, in this time of woes and grievances, where we can't dab our drowning eyes because there's no goddamn toilet paper, remember the good times and the good people of those times. This is Rabbi Sal Solomon wishing you sweet thoughts and ended sorrows and Charmin, to ply, shalom, and thank you. Rabbi, Jeff. you're gonna be a tough act to follow. Thanks right. for being with us today. Shalom. Shalom to you and stay healthy and well. All of I, you too.